doesn't matter anyway because it's been completed and we are now on to Traps of Creativity which oh boy another long one with Guidance and Big Sokoban Okay, this has to go this way. And then this goes down. Now this can just move all over. Right? Don't tell me I needed one more. I need to press the button once so I can get to the exit. So that means I can't step onto there until I'm... Wow, this is really weird. I guess I come back around there later. Okay, I've obviously done something wrong. Yeah, there wasn't a trap underneath that one. For some reason I thought there was, but... Okay, so this comes down, and... Yeah, from there it's just pushing them onto the buttons the other way around. So yet, I haven't found the creative element of this level yet. It seems... I'm waiting for that really creative element that totally makes the title. What am I saying? It's very creative if it's original. Come on! You could at least... See, there, that, that's, it's just in this one episode that you, you guys are starting to see my annoyance against bees and paramecia, paramecium's manifest. They're just becoming more and more annoyinger. Yes, I know, I'm intentionally prop, improper, improperizing my grammar. Why did I not get those keys? That was dumb of me. Okay, finally got that. That was pretty good. Okay. Finally through that. Now, let's see. Ooh. Okay, good. I have five. And I love these ball mazes here. I should definitely experiment with this more in my... Oh! Is that an invisible wall? Wow, I love that. That is just epic. That is proper use of invisible walls right there. I thought my game froze. I seriously thought, thought it did. But it's an invisible wall. Used in the most appropriate way possible. Wow, that was amazing. And you place it very strategically, too. It's it's not where, you know, you could get stuck and caught where a monster can get you. And I like this because I'm not going to commit suicide. That means there must be another chip somewhere. Okay, here, is this a nail? Hit that red button and go back down the teleport afterwards. There's a bomb up there. I think I see what to do to get that... I need to get that block down. But I have a choice here and I don't know which way to go. That's always annoying. I'm worried I may be screwing myself here. Oh, that's where I came from. Of course. So that pretty much explains the whole mystery of this level. Okay, I do not think I'm... Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Alright, what did I miss? There's the chip there that I obviously missed, but... 
This level is not clear to me. Is that a fake exit? What is this? Yeah, this is where I die, I think. I don't think it is possible... Wait, I think I, I have an idea. Yeah, this level is definitely not what it seems. This level is not what it seems at all, which I'm... I'd have to say I don't really like that much. Because there's just so many little places that I can get screwed over. But anyway, we're not going to invest investigate this right now, because... Wait, no, forget that. Yeah, I'm going to come back there later, probably. I just don't see how it would work now. So I guess I'm just assuming I did something wrong in that one room. I'm not even sure what. I guess going up there wasn't the right choice, which... That's a bit deceiving, which I don't like. Okay, I think I'm done dying like an idiot. Now back to this ball section, which as I said is just a perfect concept for exploration in official sets. You know, I think you, as in Josh who is watching this video, has a much better chance of getting levels into official sets than I do. I, I would be surprised if even one of Vigato Returns gets into an official set, to be honest. Whereas you probably have at least ten in the bag right here. Okay, am I supposed to go up? Can't be. There's just one key here. I have a feeling there's flippers later on, leaving this the only other possible option. Oh boy. This is deceiving, but I'm just taking it as a maze for now. I wonder if those shortcuts are for optimization purposes, because you don't want to start them in a, a reaction. And you don't want that to happen either. Or at least for that path up there to get blocked. Okay, I'm assuming the fireball cloner clones right then. Don't tell me this is all a trap too. Okay, it's not a trap. Okay, five, six more. Don't want to accidentally overload the corridor with plasma. Alright, finally, finally, finally getting the flippers. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have flippers right now. It's like the the answer to the meaning of the of life as far as this level goes. Okay, that just goes there, so it's a partial post, obviously. And then this has to be pushed over so I can get through. Mm. 
Okay, now I can get to that tank room. There aren't... Me okay, good. There's not still monsters bouncing around in there. Better not be any in here, either. I can see getting some footwear here. <clears throat> okay, hope I could use it. I think this allows me to go back through this room. Mm, mm. Oh, don't tell me I have to go across... No, I'm not. Not not right now. Not yet. I need two more boots. Mm. Yep, I don't know what to do here. I see no possible way other than to... I don't know why I got the flippers. I mean, the force boots. Was it all a bit pointless? I might be looking in the editor soon here, because... I'm not spending time just pointlessly wandering around a level not knowing what to do. That's that CCLP3 talk. Did I need to do that before I went through? I believe I did. Okay, th now this happens, but I'm sure I didn't do that other room right, so I'll be screwed. It'd be nice to at least know how to solve the level. Or at least have a bigger answer to the meaning of life as far as this level goes. Yeah, now I can get through here. And that only grants me getting out of there because I don't have the other two boots, which I, I think I needed to do all that first. Let's retry. This time I better hope I n know what to do. If not, I'll be... Well, I don't know. The set is really getting... There's a big difficulty twist right about now that I'm currently dealing with that... You know, I'm kind of worried things are slowing down a bit too much. I'm not sure how to handle, you know, only making it through three levels in an hour-long recording session, and then, you know, should I take a break from recording so I could do other sets like JBLP1 that I want to get to after I finish this? Because it's not looking like I'm going to finish this set at any time soon, which isn't a bad thing, but it's, you know, it's just a bit overwhelming. I certainly don't have anything against these levels. They, they are great. I've just been playing quite a lot of them recently. Sometimes you have to be... Sometimes chips challenges like alcohol, and that it needs to be in moderation. Otherwise, barbecue rage may result. <laughs> okay, so this block goes up. Would've been nice to know that a little earlier. I see what to do. There we go. I think I did it right that time. Yeah, that, I think, was how to do it. I love that concept, but should've, I should've known that a little earlier. I'm not sure whose fault it is. I'm not gonna place blame, because I don't want to. I'd rather just let the issue go and call this level a level. Because it's innocent until proven... No, wait, it's... Innocent until proven guilty. I've been hearing all sorts of combinations of that recently. It's just hilarious. Okay, up here now. Being careful not to step on anything I shouldn't. <clears throat> okay, let's nine of these, just because that's how many I did the first time. Or was it ten? Because I know there's like a few more, so there's four or five. Okay.
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I heard five booms, so now I can head down here and get this flipper. Finally, I'm answering the meaning of life here for you guys, because I'll have all four boots, and I'll become Superman when I have all four boots, as you guys, as we all know. Okay, back through here, and this time I can actually move on after I get this. Now I can go through pretty much anything except Bomber Monster. Okay, so that's how it's definitely done. No, I, I know I'm headed down to one of these. Yeah, that was the better one, for sure. I think the other one would have led to me being not screwed, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now back around that way, button, and out. Okay, I hate doing this. No, that's not... Oh, shoot. Don't tell me... Yeah, I have to go back all around to get the chip and then come back here. On the plus side, I don't need to lose boots. Okay, let's go all the way back to the beginning of the level now. Wait, what am I doing? Hold on, where was the key? If I go back, I can open this, get the zeroth chip, then go back around, lose my boots, press that button, okay, I think I'm fine. I didn't really do anything over here, which is the main concern. I think the point is that you see what's over there and then you go back with what you have. Which for some reason I have a feeling won't be possible. Except, did I get the blue key over there? I can imagine I did, which forces it all on you. There we go, got the chip. Now the button. Now the bees and the button. And wow, what an amazing level you have here. And it's finally been completed. Wow, that was a really long level. Definitely very difficult. More difficult than some of the levels I've experienced in CCLP3. But next up we have Pole Position, which looks like a bit of a shorter level based on the time limit.